Kwa Makuni, and she's going to be reading for us. So let's turn. She's volunteered to read for us Psalms chapter 4, verse 8. Okay, Makuni? Yeah? So when you're ready, you can read Psalms chapter 4, verse 8. Um, sorry, I'm going to be reading in Japanese. And English. Okay, so do you want me to read it in English first, or you're going to read it in English, then Japanese? How are you going to do it? Japanese first. Okay, but well, do, you, do you want me to read it in English so that we know what we're hearing when you read it in Japanese? Oh, mommy is going to do something? Okay, I'll leave it with you. <laughs> okay. Pido, pido, pido. Wa, na, na, gi, na, na, ki, to, bu, do, bu, yi, ta, ka, ni, to, ri, re, te, yoro, ko, di, di, mas. So, re, ni, mo, ma, sa, u, yoro, yoro, ko, ni, u, watashi, no, that means I, Kokoro ni oatae kudasai. That means please. It's a lot more polite than the English. And the English reads Psalm 4 8 I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Amen. That's very apt for today, Sister Sonia. That's lovely. Okay, I think it's you now. You're doing your activity. So. Oh, oh, there's song. Song? No, activity first, then song. Okay. Okay, you ready, everybody? Oh, you go to this. Okay. Okay. Hey, um, today is Asia languages. Uh -huh. Um, first. Keyword. Keyword. Oh, 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 sorry. So, uh, uh, um, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So, um, English keyword is needle. Yeah, English mm -hmm. keyword is needle. Mm -hmm. Um, guess. Um, put in the chat. Where did they say Chan? <laughs> the intonation. One more time. Chan. Chan. You kind of go up. Chan. Chan. Where do you think they say chen for needle? For needle. Auntie, I'm just going to say it. Japan. <laughs> you know I was going to say Japan, but someone <laughs> said China. I just didn't type it in the chat. I restrained myself. <laughs> it's I not Japan. It let's, oh, okay. see, let's see what everyone's saying. 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17. Line going, Lee said China. 16, Korea yeah. yeah, from Lois, mm. 15, 14, 13, 12, they're close though, aren't they? 11, India. 10, mm. Langus changes not his mind to India, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, seven 6, 6, 5, 4, four. any more. Where did they say? Chim. One. Time's up. Time's up. Where and is it? And it's Thailand. Thailand. Mm. In Thailand, they say Chien. for needle. It's kind of sing song, isn't it? Okay, we have a, only four today, isn't it? Four Asian, five Asian. Chinese traditional. Chen. That's similar to the Thai, isn't it? Chen. No Chien. intonation, just Chen. Chen. Okay. Japanese? Hari. 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 It's a kind of roll of a tongue. It's H A R I, but it sounds like H A L. Because um, because um, they 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 don't say rap. They say rap. Rap, rap, rap. This kind of a twist. Ha, rap. Hari, hari, hari. Korean. Havel. Havel. That sounds Spanish. Doesn't that sound Spanish, Sister Sonia? Havel. No, she's saying no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Daddy? Kind of. Havel. <laughs> How about Turkish? Igneil. Igneil. What on earth? One more time. Igneil. Igneil for needle. That's a Turkish. Wow. 
And Vietnamese? K Kim. K Kim. Does it go up? K Kim. K Kim. K Kim. Wow, finito. And let's put in Arabic. Ibraton. 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 It's another roll. Ibraton. Wow. None of them sound like me though, do they? Wonderful. Well done, everyone. Those were hard. <laughs> they were very difficult. Next week, Africa and Australasia. Yes, Australasia. Okay. We done? Well done. Thank you. Well done, everybody. Over to you, sis. Okay. That was lovely. It's amazing languages, isn't it? And how different they are. So we are want to introduce the Francis family. For those of you that were here last week, you met them all. And uh, you can see them there. They're all ready. We had a wonderful time last week. And um, Sonia, Francis, has, um, they have a ministry. It's mainly a medical missionary. Um, ministry and they incorporate everything into it because they want to have a whole a whole ministry but she'll tell us a little bit more about the ministry um, and we have the website which we will put up um, in the chat so that you can see that but I'm not going to talk too much today I'm going to put it over to them and I believe they've got a special item for us first and I can see Sister Sonia is eager to speak so I'm going to put it up to you, but we welcome you again for our second week of sewing. We have one more week. Next week will be our third week. And we had a good time last week. We made bookmarks and they just looked so neat. And they were bookmarks for our Bible and for our book. So that was really nice. We love the practical element. So thank you, Sister Sonia. And um, we will go over to you now so that you can share with us what you'll be doing. So we'll have the special music first, I believe. All right. Hello, everybody. We have a special song today, and it's found in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 24. We sing. When I lay down, you will not be afraid. When you lay down, you will not be afraid. When you lay down, your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 3.24 We will sing one more time. When you lay down, you will not be afraid. When you lay down, you will not be afraid. When you lay down, your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 3.24 Amen. Amen. <laughs> Um, well, I will, I will mention something related to our ministry. Um, a few months ago, I think this year, we refreshed the medical missionary training with the medical missionary group. And so we took another road in our life. And so we incorporate all our skills. Gardening, my, my husband, Paul, uh, and the children, uh, they are quite keen doing gardening, especially young. This year has been growing so many things, a variety of vegetables. Ida likes cooking and she reads all my nutrition books and sometimes you have to look for them. Where, is, where are my books? And then you can find them under her pillow, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then Irene likes sewing. A uh, little Jordan, as you see. Electrician. <laughs> oh, yes, he holds cables everywhere. I try to plug in everything. And so um, uh, the Lord has given us gift. And uh, in my journey, I'm a teacher and also dressmaker. But the Lord took me from teaching and dressmaking to nutrition and medical missionary work. So from then, we decided we are going to gather all our skills and serve others with a medical missionary uh, training and that's what we offer and we incorporate their sewing. Previous uh, to that, I was doing just sewing in an isolated way, but the Lord inspired and said, you have skills in the family, that has to be part of the medical missionary work. 
And so from then on, we are just uh, sorting things out really because it's like doing everything again and doing the way that God wants us to do this time. So that's why we, um, uh, I think it's in the chat, uh, the website where you can get information on what we are doing. And the, we, will start, uh, we will add more uh, content to that because the Lord is guiding us little by little. So do you want me to go ahead with the sewing project as well? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's just make sure everyone's ready. I hope everyone's ready. I can see Levi, Danielle, Makuni, Langa, Likwa, Tavita, Jazz, and Jojo. Um, yeah, and we. So do this. Yeah. Hopefully, everybody's ready. Okay, thumbs up. Are you all ready? Give a thumbs up. Let's see. Good. I can see Makuni. Thumbs up. I can see Tavita's sewing machine. Yeah, and I can see. I just get thumbs up from Langa and Likwa. Wonderful. Good to see you. Good. I think everybody's ready. This. Yep. You can, all over to you now. All right. So today we are going to, to do another project. And this thing is a little bit bigger, but we are learning more skills. In every uh, sewing project, we add a new skill. And you realize that your sewing machine, um, even though it looks so simple, can do many things. So uh, let's pray once again. So the Lord help us to do this project for his glory. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for gathering us here as we start this sewing project. We ask you that you bless everyone. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, so uh, do you have your sewing machine ready with your thread? Uh, have you prepared your bobbing as well? If you have everything ready so we can start. Why I said this is because last week we learned how to wind the bobbin. So this time, I don't need to repeat that. And you know how to thread your sewing machine. So that's ready as well. So we will skip that step to go straight to our, um, our materials. Uh, we mentioned you need scissors. If you have scissors just for fabric, it's the best because um, if we use scissors for cutting paper and different things at the end, you realize that you can use your scissors anymore. So keep scissors just for fabrics and other scissors to cut paper and other things, all right? Then you will need pins and pin cushions. I'm just using magnetic to keep everything in one place. Sometimes I lose them and because I had children with me, and you have seen little Jordan and Irene, they come here to pick my pins. Uh, the, tra the traditional one that is uh, just made of fabric is good as well. It's just I choose, I choose to use this one. Then there's one more for this week, it called seam gauge. Uh, this is a type of ruler just for a small measurements. But if you don't have this, you don't have to buy this. If you have a ruler, just use that one, okay? We will use to measure. And just in case something goes wrong and we need to rip some things, we have the seam ripper, okay? Do you see this one? Okay. So we have this, then our fabric. I gave you the dimensions for your fabric. So I expect that it's already cut. And um, due to the lack of time, we go straight to the project. And what you need is to have a flat surface like a table. I have with me a four feet table. Uh, thank you, John. And also, sorry, I didn't mention, you need your iron and ironing board. Well, I have a small one a mini ironing board. Right, so I will show you. This is the fabric that I have today. Um, do you see a color? It's only plain color, but the right side, 
uh, you see it has this print. Uh, it's not noticeable, right? Well, that's the fabric that I have available <laughs> this week. <laughs> All right. So you choose any any fabric with any pattern. Just have fabric this time. The fabric is 44 inches by the, we have a 36 or 28. What is the measurement that I have? But considering the length that is 44, you will fold the fabric in a half, which give you 22 inches wide. We are going to work a pillow case for a standard pillow, all right? So you fold that in a half and the rest is the width. Okay, you get a triangle. Are we together? Okay, you get a triangle. It's very simple what we are going to do, but I would like that you have patience. Patience is key because this time is not just a bookmarker and you saw and people, no, now it's long, okay? We are going to learn a little bit of vocabulary. If you have your fabric and it has been cut and you have the age of the fabric, this is the age of the fabric, I will show you here. I hope that you see this. Oh, let me see if you can. No. Well, this fabric at the edge has dots or oh, holes, tiny holes. That is called salvage. Is the the edge of the fabric, and that is made uh, by the factory. All right. So that's the edge. If you want it, you can keep it, but if you cut it, your pillow will be um, smaller. <laughs> so I prefer to keep it because this will be inside and nobody will see it. And I think look nice, all right? So now you have another word in your sewing vocabulary. Salvage, that's the name of the, of the edge of the fabric. Once again, I tried to show you, but I think the light doesn't help too much, but these edges made by the factory, they call salvage. Okay, so mm -hmm. here we, we are. Can see. We can see. Yeah. It. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You are at the other end, so I don't see. Right. So having this, we are going to sew all the the side and then the bottom, and leaving one side open. All right, so that's what we are going to do now. So prepare your sewing machines. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that we have to do this very, very easy so we won't have any complications. Before we do that, please unfold your, your fabric and at the edge that you have cut that will be the top, you will fold and measure just half half an inch so with this sewing gauge you get here and that will be the measurement you will measure your fabric I will show the light. Uh, I'm here. so oops here you measure you see ah, okay you will fold half half an inch okay you can press with your finger do you see this is the right side and you fall toward the wrong side, okay, here, like that. And that has to be all along. And the easy way that I want to demonstrate you is with the eye. So we fall and then we press. That's what we call in, in sewing. We don't just iron and moving like that, no. We press, you fall and press, fall and press. So when you finish all the age, we are ready to fold another four inches. And we mark here, four inches. And that's what we fold again here. Okay, we fold over to hide the raw edge. Okay, so that's what I'm going to show you right now. I have a, a small, a mini, 
ironing board with me. Okay, you help me with that one because I think. Okay. Do you see the ironing board? Okay. So I have the row H. You see, it's all the the width. What is it? So the width of the fabric, forty-four inches, and look at look at this. Yes, they see this. Yeah. So I measure half an inch. I facing the wrong side. I have four. I have half an inch. I fold it and measure again if it's exactly the measurement. Yes, is half an inch, and then. I press. Just gentle. You press again, you fold and measure. That's the measurement. And then you press. Press. Okay, we can do that all along this. Look, and this will keep in that way. And will be easy for us when we work, when we sew. So once again, I fold and measure, okay, half an inch. I can press to just keep the fabric in place. And press. Press. Okay, so the last part. And when you get experience in this, you just do by sight. You just calculate. Okay, I press. It is a finger, finger press. <laughs> and then you press with your eye. Okay. Please bit. Measure half, half an inch. Okay, press. Uh, with this, we have this part done, okay? Now, from then, we are going to measure four, four inches from the folded edge, uh -huh, there. You just put your finger there, fold it, align the edges, Measure again from the new folded edge. Yes, is four inches. So you fold the rest. Press. Now we are working from right to left. I think it's easier from right to left. And then you keep moving your fabric. Once again, you mark there four inches. Four inches. Press, okay? Press. Just the, the edge to keep it flat. Okay, so we go to the rest of the fabric. As you keep the fabric on the right flat, you go to the left side and measure. Okay, we have four inches. Keep your hand there. I have four inches, so it's right. So now you have the confidence to press all this. Press. Press gently, just to keep it in place. Okay, are we there? We press. So this will be the top part of your pillowcase. All right. Um, I would like to know if everybody is there in the same step. Are you ready now? Oops. Are you there? Oh, everybody went. <laughs> yes. Okay, Makuni. Yeah, Makuni, you're ready. 
Um, Tabitha is there as well. Yeah. Okay. Tabitha. Very good. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Tabitha. All some right. Are, but some are saying Makuni is saying not yet. Like All right. Might be a little bit behind. Tabitha said not yet as well. And leave. All right. Okay. Else. Yeah. No problem. So maybe no, no. give them a few more minutes. Yes. Yes. It takes time to do it. That's they that's fine. Give, they may have to give you a thumbs up when they've done it. Yes, yes, and that's good if the parents can help them mm -hmm. as well. I think that is with the parents helping them. <laughs> yes, parents can help as well because we are using a, a hot mm -hmm. iron and is uh, they need uh, help as well. Mm -hmm. You know, as they, until they get experience in this, and mm -hmm. so it will be very easy for them to do it. Definitely. Okay. So definitely. Oh, I get saw a thumbs up. Levi oh. and Daniel. Oh, Levi and Daniel. Daniel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. They're Very good. There. We are getting there. Right. Have us mm -hmm. getting some help as well. Yes. Uh huh. That's good. This probably mm -hmm. won't take too much time because it's just a practice of the previous uh, skills. We are going to sew straight and. For the raw edges, we are going to learn another type of a stitch that will help to finish this pillowcase. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, another thing that can be useful will be a pinky shear. Could you pass me the pinky shears, please, Aida? Yes, please. So I can show them. There are different types. These are pinky shears. You can see zigzag. These are pinky shears and they help when we have raw edges. This is a pair of scissors just for fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, finish. Oh, yes, that's good. Thank you. It's showing the Yes, your scissors. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, she had all the all the things. Okay. Langa. Langa. <laughs> Langa. Langa okay, Levi as well. Yes. Okay. A pair of trimmers. Just Excellent. A question, a question, Auntie Sonia. Okay. Langa and Liqua are saying, can you please go through the folding again, please? All right. Okay. I will show you. Thank you. All right. You place your fabric on the ironing board facing the wrong side. So you see the wrong side and the right side is right on top of your ironing board. You fold the width of your fabric, all the the edge of the width of your fabric, and then you use your sewing gauge of or any ruler, and then you fold the raw edge. Do you see? Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, let me. Okay. Do you see it there? Yes. That's it. Yes. Okay. So. The raw edge is the one that you're going to fold, just half an inch. You see, you fold half an inch, and then you fold all that all along and to the other uh, side, the other end. Then you fold again. We say fold over. F this time you fold four inches four inches and you press that's what you do in this way we we are going to work this age uh, we are going to make a hem sometimes they call it hem you know just to hide the raw age that's all that's what that's all that we are going to do so it gets all neat and flat the um, the pillowcase all right so is it clear that those steps hello hello yeah okay yes. thank you very hello. much thank you. okay very good so what you fall you fall inward because it's the wrong side and when you have your pillowcase you you're not going to see that fall mm -hmm. okay they yeah. said thank you they said okay. thank you you're welcome. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. 
she's excited. Okay, another thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so if everybody is ready, so now you unfold, okay, only once. Leave it that the first fold that we did. Okay, leave it. And hold the other end. Okay, you will fold. Yes, your. They can see everybody, they can see it. Okay, I will move this ironing board over there. Okay. So you are facing the wrong side. You hold both, both ends and fold your fabric having the right side in. Yeah, okay. Keep this two facing right side. Okay, facing right side. You hold your fabric and fold in a half. That's what we do, okay? Are we there? Right. All right. So now you, we are going to solve. Sorry, one question, Sister. Um, yes. Yeah, that's, is this the length or the width? Did you get that answer? The same, is this the length or the width, the folding that you just did? We, we fold the width. The width. We okay. fold the width. Okay, we fold the width, so you end the width only 22 inches width. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. so they said, okay, so we are going to sew all the side and the side and then the bottom. Okay, you want your sewing machine and Keep, remember, keep the folded edge, the first one, the, the half, an, half an inch, and you will place under the presser foot. Uh, in, in my fabric, I have the salvage, you know, the finished edge made by the factory. And there are some dots, uh, some holes, tiny holes, Personally, I don't want that show when I finish, you know, in the finished project. So what I do, I see the marks here, there are measurements, and I will sew as close as possible. If that is your case, work with me like this. So the measurement will be at five eighth of an inch. At five eighth, you will see five slash A. So the edge of your fabric the edge of the fabric should align there, okay? And so you prepare your sewing machine. We are going to secure the stitches as we use that reverse button. One stitch or two stitch, and then you can, we are ready now. To secure, we call this back stitch because that's why it does. Okay, like that. and then we sew forward. Remember, you are in the tension number four, a straight stitch. The length should be number four. Okay, in your sewing machine, that's a standard, so that will be easy to work. We help a bit the fabric holding in this position. Remember, keep your hands away, away from the needle, away from the needle. And now that I help the fabric to move forward, here we go. Your eyes, remember when you sew your eyes, don't look at the needle, you look at the edge. Make sure that the fabric, the edge of the fabric is running along the measurement that we had chosen by, by eight. So you can pin it. Okay, where am I pin? Because it's, in, it's keep moving. Okay, so I will pin it. There are some parts that will be a little bit difficult. So pin it all along the side. Right. 
I have done. Okay, so now we continue. Hold this. You can help holding your hands. Don't pull the fabric. You can hold when it, keep, when it moves your fabric. So you just hold and keep it, you know, straight. Here, I don't have any support. So I tend to hold here, but I'm not pulling, okay? Okay, I find and carry on, okay, there you go. Remember, if you stop, keep the needles down. Why is it not to keep your fabric in place? Sometimes for any reason you move, and it moves under the present foot, and then you will have to, you will have a difficult time to back to the right place. Okay, um, we continue. Now, my fabric here, so they should have been cut. So I will mark this seven. I want two edges, you know, aligned together. All right. So we continue here. And before, remember, before you reach the edge, you will stop to have similar. Where is the sewing gauge? Okay, you measure here. Where is a half an inch? Why is this? Because that's the measurement, calculate, oh no, it's 5A. The same will be from the age. My fabric is not cut well, so I will work from then, 5A. So I should stop, I will put a pin here to guide me where I should stop, just there, and then I continue. Right, I reach in there, I, I help, I use the hand wheel, I do by hand, I reach the point, remove the pin, keep the needle down, lift the presser foot, and then I keep up. Then I realize here, okay, so I need to, to align the edge of my fabric. So let me, uh, John, you can hold it, please. So what I'm going to do is just to fold for this and trim, so I will have the right, the right uh, side, and it will align properly with the with the other edge. Okay, so now I trim this piece. If you encounter this situation, no problem. We can fix everything before we get the finished project. <laughs> Right now, I choose my trimmer. This is trimmer. This is a raw edge. What I did, I tore the fabric. That's another way to to work. Okay, now here we go. I pivot the fabric, and now I continue. Now I'm going to do the bottom edge. Right. Are we there? Are we there? How many are there? Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Jan. The computer will be on the floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now that we people are, we are ready to go. You can press the the panel the. Um, Okay, let me see here. Yeah, we're already there, right? So you just press the pedal slowly, not too fast. Right. Okay, so here we go.
Hold your fabric. If you don't want to, to put your hands beside, you can hold the back. She's holding. Hold. And press it. Keep your eyes looking at the, the measurement. Finish. If you reach the end, you remember secure the stitch. That's all. Okay, now leave your needle and leave the pressure foot as well. Pull your fabric, use the thread cutter, and trim the excess thread your trimmers or scissors. Right, so this is what we have done so far, you know, that side, you see there, right? We have work the side and the bottom. How many of you are in this, you know, have finished these two steps? Oh, are we there? Manuki. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, that's what we have. We have the folded edge facing the wrong side. We, we saw the side and the bottom. Now I'm going to show you how you can finish that row, row edge. And you can do zigzag. That's what I'm going to show you now. Okay. If I we change the selector a stitch, oh sorry, the, the stitch the stitch selector in the sewing machine. I tried to show you my sewing machine so you will understand what I'm talking about. Come. This is the stitch selector according to this panel. And when I say zigzag, I just chain one because in my panel show zigzag. So in your sewing machine, in your sewing machine choose the zigzag. Okay, and that's what we are going to use to work the row age. The row age that I have is the bottom one. Okay, so I finished like this. Okay, so I, um, I will start. And what I'm going to do is to place this row edge at the middle of your oh, can I say the middle of your presser foot what I try to do is to lock the stitches to lock the fabric so um, it will look like those uh, overlocker sewing machine something like that so we help with our hands with the, the hand wheel, press until one or two, and from then on, we don't need to lock the stitches for that. Um, 
Everything more. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we can do that. Can you see that word? And we just trim the excess thread. Okay, so this is what you you get. Uh, I hope that you see. Yes, the row H my yes. Okay, that's the way that you can work the row H. Okay, so how many of you? Uh, have finished the steps before we finish because now is the last step. Okay, this this is one of the the easy projects. We practice a straight stitch. We have practiced zigzag stitch as well. Then a back stitch to secure. Mm, what else? Yeah, that's what we have. All right. So show me what you have done so far. Oh, I see Manuki. Right. I, I Manuki, Manuki, are you doing the zigzag or are you sewing this the seam? Are you using a straight stitch? All right. Okay. 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 I'm doing I, a zigzag. Oh, excellent. 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 Yeah, it's nice to see how you are progressing with their project, all right? Okay, who else, please? Levi, oh, I don't see Levi. Levi, Levi disappear. who else? Liqua, oh, yes, am I right? Are you there? The other one is B. Yeah. Yeah, okay, are you there? Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. We would like to, yeah, we would like to see what you're doing and show mm, what you have done so far. Yes, uh, it's just I don't want to just explain, 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 you know, uh, and finish and at the end realize uh, people are we're not on the same page. We're you know? just watching because uh, our sewing machine, the, the string came out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take your time to thread the machine again. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it happens. Make sure that the tension is what I mentioned. Number four. That's the standard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, excellent. Excellent. That's right. That's what we use. This uh, is very practical. When you have a design machine and then you don't have overlocker, you can use zigzag to lock all the edges. Very. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's right. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this break is a little bit bigger than the book, the book marker. <laughs> it takes a little bit more time. Yeah. If you can do this, you know, and you enjoy it, you are ready for something bigger. And if you can do that and something bigger, and at the end you are making your garments because, well, <laughs> that's my expertise and we do that at home. But everything is start with something is small. This is just one of the projects that um, I taught my children when they were uh, younger. And so they are still doing some uh, sewing projects, but not just small, just that they are doing some garments. So, is uh it's good to teach our children these skills i hope that they, you like and you enjoy your pillowcase when we finish all right so i see yeah manak is going to finish oh excellent that's right
Where are you? I see. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's slow. It's, I see. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. You can fold as well. Yes, you can fold the raw edge and do it the zigzag. There are different ways. Uh, the one that I show is just you saw just right in the middle. And when you do the zigzag, you fold the edge. Um, that's one way. That's the other way. Yes, anyway, it's okay as long as we lock that raw edge. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. Now, what you can do is to iron or just wait uh, till the end. Right. So now that we have, we have a, we have finished these steps. You hold, it, it looks like a bug, your work. Looks like a bug. You have the, the right side, inside, okay? That right side facing together and you are facing the wrong side. What we need to do is this folded edge, we are going to, to hide and we fold at the four inch crease that we did okay when we, i said at the beginning and fall okay so we fall there all along okay we fall and now you're going to pin it okay we have this and to do it properly this is uh let me show you oh do you see there yeah. So you you fold. This is the, the the fold. This is the crease, and you have here this edge. So you pin it there. There are two ways to well, really, there are different ways to pin. But I would like that you get the most of this uh, free workshop. When you pin, you can do it this way horizontally. You can do it vertically this way. Or you can do it this way and diagonally. So you have here, I said three ways because they are horizontal. You know, you have here horizontal, vertically, and diagonal. All right. So you choose which one you feel more comfortable. I would pin that way. Sometimes I pin the other way. All right. So we pin all along. And there is another type of uh, um, equipment that you can use. That maybe the next in the next project, I will mention that or I will show you. Okay, so we continue. It's just to keep them flat, flat and in place. All right. We are going to put two more. One. Oh no, I have the other side. <laughs> oh. Just holding. Now we have three fabrics. Remember, we have the fold, the one that you are facing, <clears throat> plus the other side. <clears throat> okay. Right, where to start? I suggest to start at the seam. That's where we are going to sew all along. And let me show you one more time the presser foot. We are going to use the edge, the external edge as a guide. So it will go out. It will go this way when you sew. So the folded edge we align with the external edge of the presser foot. Your needle will sew at the measurement. So you have like a quarter, uh, uh, one eighth of an, excuse me. Mm. 
Okay, okay. so we are going to All right, so now we are going to place this this way. Leave your presser foot. As I say, we'll use the external. Do you hear me? All right. Okay. So we place at the seam. I remove the pin and then I will help. You need to hold your the thread because if it's short and then you move the needle down is when you know the thread comes out. So I'll back to a straight stitch. Right. So we have this. I secure the stitch. Okay, back a stitch three stitches and then release and continue it if you want to do it very close to the edge i will give you two options uh let me two options because some people like one way and others the other way. Um, I will, oops. We will do at the very edge, because it will do wide. Okay, at the very edge. To do the very edge, you need to use, put the fabric aligning just with the inner edge of the presser foot and keep your eyes there. So keep very, very close. It's about one eighth, one eighth of an inch, okay? We secure the stitches and now we, so. All right. You see, I have a, A message pop up on my screen. We go back. Okay, so I removed the pin and we so. Remove the pins. work in this manner. Careful with the pins, sometimes you pinch yourself. I <laughs> know, not a pleasant experience. Point and we secure the stitches. Mm, we're having fun here. So, here I will show you we are making the 
starting point, you will notice you have four layers. Some sound hard, but that's okay. Keep pressing, keep, keep uh, pressing the pedal until you pass the OK key. All right, so now when you have the needle down, you press the reverse button. Just for a few stitches. And that's it. Lift your needle, lift out your presser foot, pull your fabric, hold the two threads, and cut. The other side. Now I trim the excess thread. Both sides and hit. This is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. We are going to bring. You can keep it the the corner like that, or if you want, you can uh, trim this just in diagonal. I will leave it there because we are going to iron this. And what we do is just to fold. You fold the edge like that and later you will fold this way look and you get a corner so that's what i do i hold put my hand inside and break it this is it so we bring the right side out okay. that's it Now the measurements that we have for this break can vary according to the type of uh, pillowcase you have. It's the others that are bigger and even for small ones like caution cases. So it's just a practice and if you can have your pillowcase ready for Or, um, oh, wow, well, I think right, okay. so it's ready. Now, your pillowcase, and maybe you can use it tonight. All right, so the last one that we need to do is to press to press all the seams. We have the size and the bottom. If you feel that this. It's quite bulky, so we go back and then you trim the diagonal. So I will show you how to do it. You just get there, the corner, and not too close. Okay, keep up about one eighth of an inch, and then you trim this. And this is why you have the corner. Okay, so to avoid uh, bold. Then you bring the right side out and use something pointed as we did last week and we press. I'm sorry, I keep saying pressing and then you help here, you know, bring these corners out. Right, so this is what we have. We iron now. So you will see the the final project. Okay, so you place this your on your ironing board and just press. Press like this. Okay. The same is here. Let me see my, so my eye. Okay. Right. I think we have our pillowcase today. Mm -hmm. I hope that you are following me.
this is the bottom seam. That's what we call it, seam. Oops, just want to bring this out. Mm -hmm. And then we really break. All right, I would like to see the final project, okay? Right, so I finished with mine and I want to see yours. Mm -hmm. So I think mommy or daddy are helping. And if no mommy and daddy are helping, so I suppose that they are doing their sewing project. Yeah, because I, I, I understand that these workshops are not only for children, it's for the whole family. So mommy is learning maybe, or daddy is learning to do pillowcases, making this project for home. And it's something useful, useful you know? And you can save as well. You choose the fabric that you, you want, and then you sew when you have time. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so I have done my pillowcase. Okay. There. This is the pillowcase. Look how we look. This is the contrast thread. All this. And how we look inside. You see, this is like a hem, but that's what we see. It's like a bag. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, the basic pillowcase. There are different types of pillowcases. There's a variety. You can see when you go to the shop and you want to buy, there are different types. So we have learned the basic one and I hope that will be useful for you. And I would like to see how many of you, well, show me where you are, uh, in which step. If you have finished, you follow me or you are a little bit behind. No, no problem. Just I just want to know where you are in this uh, project. Okay. So Manuki, where you at? Have you finished your project or you are just finishing in the last steps? Do you want me to repeat any we step? Can... We yes. couldn't see Makuni. Mommy held a blue thing, but we couldn't see it very well. We're okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Right. So, anybody else? Anybody else? There. Yeah. I think we've lost a few people. They might have got thrown out. I can't see Tabitha and Daniel yes. and Levi. They seem to have. Um, have gone, so I'm not quite sure what's happened. Yeah. But they were definitely following along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I think when Makuni was just, mommy was just holding it up, we couldn't see it properly. We just saw a bit of blue yeah. material. Yeah, I think maybe that is a, a blue pillowcase. My is a beige, <laughs> mm -hmm. beige pillowcase. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, it, it shows how doing the eye pressing, not ironing, pressing it down <laughs> makes it look so neat, it, and it helps, doesn't it, when folding? Yes, and that that's the key to make up uh, any type of sewing project. Yeah, from just useful projects for home to garments, and that pressing is the key for a professional uh, look. A professional does. finishing. It does, yes. and it makes all the difference. Because I noticed you did yes. that last week with the bookmark, and it made all the difference last week as well. Because they were very <laughs> flat, and they were yeah. very neat. It's just pristine the way it's done. Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. I'm just all right. I did my sewing classes. They didn't. We didn't do as much of the pressing down. I think <laughs> my garments would have looked a lot neater. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the key. There are different things to mm -hmm. to have a. Oh, good finishing, good finishing. Mm -hmm. That's really yeah. helpful, that's a good tip. I'm definitely gonna take that one. Yeah. Yes, I think that everybody have finished. Yeah, I think uh, Levi, 
and Danielle are back now. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, they got, yeah. yeah, they got logged out. Levi yeah, I Danielle? think it's the signal. The signal oh. there. Yeah. How are you doing? Levi, Danielle? We know you got, you got um, put out. <laughs> so if you're feeling brave, you can show us what you've done. Okay. And Tabitha has got um, come out and she hasn't come back in. So, whoa. Let's Yay! Go let's yes. Go very good. Very good. Did I get <laughs> that purple? Purple. 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 <laughs> yes, that's right. Good. That's lovely, McCooney. Hold it up again. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Lovely. Good. And I see another. Liqua. Is that Liqua? Yeah. It shows. Is that time to show? Come on. Show, show. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. What were you showing? We've not you? finished yet. That's not okay. finished yet. It doesn't matter. Right. We, can, we can still have a look, Liquor, even if it's not finished. Yeah, sure. It doesn't matter. Just any stage you're at. See? Yes. Oh. That's, that's amazing, good. Liquor. Yes. Of stars, that's like right. That. Very yeah. good. Very good. Well done. The yeah. important thing is to make a start, isn't it, Auntie Sonia? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's the most important because we say i will do i will do but we never start but when you start at least you start something and little by little you will continue wonderful that's whoa yeah. has put it in a pillowcase let's spotlight her that's amazing yeah. pillowcase. Lovely. that's good that's how we look very good and you know what you can take picture oh yes you can take a picture of your sewing projects and so you can keep it in your files of your mm -hmm. home schooling files because this is one of the uh, sewing projects that John and uh, Ida and Irene uh, have done. Irene, Irene is still doing it and so they keep a record of everything, all his sewing projects. Mm -hmm. We, we forgot case. the contrast stitch. Yes, you mean the contrast stitch that we, the contrast uh, thread that we use? Yeah. Yes, this is just for, when we start, it's very important to see the stitches. That's what we're using, the contrast uh, fabric. But when you get uh, more confident, so it's no problem, you use a matching uh, thread. I made, this duvet. I made this duvet yesterday. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, good. that's oh, nice. Lovely. For the is it for your dog, for your babies, for your dog? Yes. Ah. Uh, There's a button on it. So. Oh, great! <laughs> oh, that that's like a, a small duvet case for, for the babies. Her dollies, her yeah. baby dollies. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, I used to do many things for my dolls <laughs> when I was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, you enjoy your time. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So I think that's the the project for today. I hope that you enjoy it. And the verse that we the song that we sent today was that, you know, when you lay down, you won't be afraid and your sleep will be sweet. Ooh. I hope that you know you see you see the birth and the project that we have done today are related. The Lord bless you. I think that was a Thank beautiful you. way, and Sonia, that was a lovely way to link it together. I must admit, I was wondering what the scripture was. I was thinking, how is that going to fall in with sewing? But it's perfect. They were making pillowcases. It yes. makes complete sense. And they're going to have a beautiful sleep, especially knowing that you have made this as well. Not exactly. God protecting. Yes. Yes. And that's that makes difference. You know, it's not something that you bought from the shop. Mm -hmm. It's something that you made. Yes. And when you see, well, I'm producing something. I'm making Absolutely. something and nobody else have it. So it's unique. It's that unique. makes it special. And Definitely. for next week, for next week, we have something else. Mm -hmm. You will learn a new skill. Wonderful. And so it's not too big like this, mm -hmm. but it will take time. It will take time to do it. And I already emailed Auntie Angela. Thank you. The materials. <laughs> so we will have an inconvenience. <laughs> and Auntie Angela will read her email. Thank you so much, Auntie yes. Paula. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Auntie you for Sonia. Sorry, thank you so much. And thank you for taking the time because one of the characteristics we learn when we're doing this is patience. 
and perseverance and diligence. So we're building yeah. good skills. So that is amazing. Thank you so much, Auntie Sonia. That is lovely. Um, I think, um, was Auntie Jasmine going to say something now? Apart from that you're showing us your, your spoil. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> we got a little bit lost at points, but it was, it was really, really fun. It's, it's a lesson on following instructions, isn't it? Rick? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Instruction and listening carefully to the instructions. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Auntie Sonia. That was so much fun. I'm really intrigued to see what we're making next week. It involves a button. Yes, that's <laughs> right. So we will use, we will use, there's a special food, preserved food. I will show you this one is in this sewing machine, but it's up to your sewing machine. This one is automatic. I have another sewing machine that is different, it's manual, so I have to do every step to make a buttonhole. But this one is automatic, so uh, I will use uh, this uh, presser foot, and so I expect all the students have that presser foot as well. No, for the automatic, of course, it's for the sewing machine that they have. And so we can work together. And read the manual instruct instructions, please, so you get familiar with your sewing machine. And so we can work together and finish this project. Wonderful. You know, um, Auntie Sonia, I'm not surprised that you're a teacher at all, because your patient step-by-step -step guidance has made it really possible for all the children and families to take part. So thank you again. Oh, praise God bless Lord. you all thank as you. a family. Um, have you got a song to close today? Are you closing again? Are the children going to close? Hi, do I will, John? Or, yes. Uh, give me a sign. I will call them because they wanted to be with me here. Ah. I think. But wait, because uh, I have to explain and all things. That's okay. So, shall we? We'll just, um, did you want to say anything else, Auntie Jasmine? <laughs> just before, let's just... Yeah, he's, go, okay. he's going to go because <laughs> they're they waiting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. just, I, have, mm -hmm. I have cables here in the sitting room. Mm -hmm. And I, I, we are using, be careful, be careful. We are using uh, lamps so you can see clearly. Yes, to make okay. it. Now, come here, come here. And the little Jordan. Where is little Jordan? Oh, yeah, he was sad. Oh, I miss you. Right. Hi. Okay, so we are going to sing that the, the proverbs. Thank you. Okay. When I lay down. When I lay down, you will be afraid. When you lay down, you will not be afraid. When you lay down, your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs 324. One more time. When you lay down, you will not be afraid. When you lay down, you will not be afraid. When you lay down, your sleep will be sweet. Over three, Amen. Amen. That's beautiful. Yes. It's lovely to see Jordan's happy. <laughs> lovely to see Irene as well. And Ida and John, thank you. That's beautiful. And we look forward to seeing you all next week. And we're going to have a, um, we're going to finish now, but we've had a wonderful time this afternoon. And we look forward to seeing all of you next week. And we pray that you do have a peaceful sleep on your pillows with your pillowcases that you made. So that's so nice. Is there anything else, um, Auntie Jasmine, that we need to mention? Um, I don't think so. Just get... Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I muted you by mistake. I was trying to put you on spotlight. Sorry. <laughs> you get you on spotlight.